Hi guys, Michael here from Offaly GA. Uh, welcome to week six of our National School Coach Kids program. Hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Remember, if you want to go back and look at any other videos, you can go onto our Offaly Coaching and Games YouTube channel, and all the videos are there as well. Okay, so go back and have a look if you want to. Um, this week, the weather this week has been very wet, windy, cold. So we're going to do a session indoors. All right. For this session, you'll need a hurl, you'll need two balls, two slitters, and two balloons as well. So I'll give you 30 seconds guys, go and find that equipment, pause the video and come back to me, all right? Brilliant, very good. So, we can leave the balloons and our burn to the side for a minute. All we're gonna need is our two slippers. So, first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a flip hand catch. So I'll give you an example first. Pull the ball up, flip the hand, tap the ball off the other side of your hand and catch again. So, you can see it there guys. We're gonna go left hand, we're gonna go right hand. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We're going to do that for 20 seconds, see how many you can get, all right? So three, two, one, off we go. Left hand, right hand, keep your eye on that ball all the time. Lots of hand-eye coordination going on here. 20 seconds, as many as you can. That's good, almost there, keep going. Three, two, one, and relax. Very good, guys. That's our first hand-eye coordination exercise done. The second one is going to be nice and simple. It's going to be a two ball juggle, okay? So watching me again, I'll give you a quick example before we get going. I'm going to throw it up, swap hands, and keep going all the time. Eye on the ball, all the time. So 20 seconds, do it as fast as you can, get as many catches as you can, okay? Three, two, one, and off we go. Quick as you can, eye on that ball. It can be tough at the start, so if you want, just slow it down. Take your time, don't rush it. But as you get more proficient and you get stronger at it, speed it up, go quicker, and challenge yourself. And if you make a mistake, guys, don't worry about it, it's all right, you just keep going. Quick as you can, that's it. Three, two, one, and relax. Very good, guys, that's our second hand-eye coordination one done. Our third exercise, we need one ball only, and this is the chopping catch, that's what I call it, okay? So it's just swapping hands the whole time. We're going as quick as you can. Again, eye on the ball. And we go as quick as you can, chopping down, catching the ball, okay? Again, it can be tough at the start, so we just slow it down, take our time. But as we get stronger, we can speed it up and speed it up and speed it up. All right, so 20 seconds. Again, as many catches as you can. Three, two, one, off we go. Again, keep your eye on that ball. And if it does drop, guys, which it is, because this is a hard exercise, if the ball drops, just pick it up and keep going, all right? We're really trying to speed up that movement in the hand. Almost there, five seconds left. And I got it. Move after here. And that's our second last exercise. We have one more left. Last one you might have done before. Nice and simple. All we're going to do is throw the ball up. Clap and catch. And how many claps can we get? So in 20 seconds, see how many claps we can get in a row, okay? Three, two, one, off you go. Three for me. Two. Can I get four? And I got four, I think, just about. And there we go. Okay. So again, keep practicing that. Get as many claps as you can in a row and see how you get on. And again, if you're going to get two today, try and get three tomorrow and then four the next day and so on and so on. But that's our hand-eye coordination section done. We're going to move on. We're going to leave the balls down to the side for a minute. We're going to grab our two balloons. Okay guys, we're moving on. We're going to go to our balloon section here now. So go find your two balloons. And um, what we're going to do is it's going to be a game of keep you up. So we have two balloons. We're going to try and keep them both up in the air at the same time. The game is over once it touches the ground. There's one rule. You cannot touch the same balloon two times in a row, so it has to be every second balloon. How long can you keep the balloons up for, all right? So, we're ready to go, we're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. That's it guys, keep your right in that balloon. Lots of hand-eye coordination here, keep those balloons up. You already got it mate, and it's gone. And that's it guys, that's game number one in our balloon section. Game number two, we need one balloon for this one. So this is bouncy balloon, okay? So it's 
nice and simple, like a basketball, or when we bounce it off the ground. And we keep going with that as long as we can. Okay? So watching me again. And if really you do one balloon, find it too easy, just go to two, okay? Keep it right in that ball, keep bouncing it down. It's as simple as that, guys. Alright, so bouncy balloon. Again, as I said, if one is too easy, we'll just get the second one and we'll try and keep that going. Now, this is a lot tougher, but I'll, I'll do my best. Alright? And it's gone already. Didn't go so well for me. It's a tougher one, guys, but it's a good one to practice at home and keep practicing and practicing and practicing. The more you do that, the better you get at bouncy balloon. Alright? So moving on, again we'll leave one balloon to the side. We're going to take our two slitters. One we'll leave over here at this side of the room, and one we'll leave over here at this side of the room. And the game is simple. This is balloon shuffle. So I'm going to knock the balloon up into the air. I'm going to shuffle over here, touch the slitter, shuffle back, and knock the balloon up and keep it up as often as I can. Keep shuffling over and back. So watch me for a second. Three. Two, one, off you go. Twist the slitter, twist the slitter, shuffle, shuffle, twist the slitter, shuffle, shuffle, twist the slitter. Keep that balloon up, keep shuffling side to side. And it's as simple as that, guys. Again, if you want to make it a bit tougher, you have more space, make the shuffle space wider, move the slitters further out either side, and that's going to make it a bit tougher, okay? But lots of good movement there, lots of exercise, lots of hand-eye coordination. Now, we're going to move on, I'm going to grab my hurl, and again, with our balloons, we're going to play a game of keep you up. So, again, all it is is keep the balloons up in the air as long as you can, using the hurl, and yeah, simple as that, all right? So remember, we're going to use, hit one balloon, in a row, we can do the same balloon twice in a row, alright? So, use the hurl. Nearly got me already. Keep your eye on those balloons, using the hurl all the time. Oh, I was moving around. How long can you keep it up? And guys, if you have more balloons at home, and you find this one too easy, don't be afraid to add in a third balloon, and give that a go as well, alright? So, there we have it guys, there's two balloon keep you up with a hurl, alright? And as I said, if you find it too easy, don't be afraid to get a third balloon and try and challenge yourself tomorrow. And our last challenge on um, our balloon section, it's just a challenge for you more than anything, it's not about um, how many you can get. So basically, I want you to keep the balloon up with the hurl, but I want you to use all sides of the hurl. So basically, I want you to use this side of the boss, I want you to use this side of the boss, I want you to use the toe of the hurl, the heel of the hurl, and then we go to the top of the hurl up here, you're going to use this side of the top, you're going to use the opposite side of the top, and then you're going to use the very, very top of the hurl. So all those different parts of the hurl, you want to tap off the, the balloon off it, and that's the challenge really, okay? So I want to give you an example, then it's over to you to complete the challenge in your own time. So what you make, so that side of the boss, other side of the boss, toe of the hurl, heel of the hurl, Top of the heart, other side of the top, and very, very, very top of the heart. And that's it, guys. That's the challenge. Can you get that done? Um, if so, brilliant. If you find it way too easy, an even, even harder challenge would be to try it with a slitter. Okay, that's a very, very tough challenge, but give it a go if you want. All right, so moving on. Last couple of exercises, we'll do our small bit of hurling with the ball in that inside if we can. Um, it's going to be as simple as this. We're going to stand up to the wall. All we'll do is scoop the ball off the wall and then control it on And how many can we get in 20 seconds? So watch me, I'll give you an example. So scoop, catch on the hurl, scoop, catch on the hurl, scoop, catch on the hurl. Simple as that guys, 20 seconds, how many can we get? Alright, so 3, 2, 1, off we go. Scoop and catch, scoop and catch on the hurl, scoop and control on the hurl. Keep your eye on that ball all the time. Don't let the ball drop. If it does drop, guys, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just pick it up and go away. 20 seconds, as many scoops as we can. 3, 2, 1, and relax. Very good, guys. That's good. That's excellent. Last one of the day. Um, very, very similar one again. We're going to scoop the ball off the wall. All we're going to do is catch it. How many catches can we get 
in 20 seconds. So, three, two, one, off we go. Scoop, catch, scoop, catch, scoop, catch. Keep going quick as you can. I am the ball all the time. Lots of hand eye coordination, lots of striking actions. Five seconds left, keep going with as many as you can in. Three, two, one, and relax. And that's it guys, that's our video done this week. That's week six of our Coach the Kids National School program. Hope you're enjoying all the videos. As I said at the start, if you want to go back and look at the other ones, go on to Offering Coaching and Games YouTube channel and all those videos are there for you, okay? Thanks William for watching and I'll see you again next week.